Hello world, it's day three of early spring and we are busy doing stuff. Hello folks, we've just done some contracting work here, uh, we've sown some wheat for Toby Law. This morning we've also done some various fertilising jobs in field 38, we've got two and a half grand. Field 37, 1,700, one one field 32, 1,600, field 12 we fertilised for 640 quid. Uh, and field 25, 1,800. So our money's boosted up a little bit. Last night I stayed late on the fields and I was doing all the ploughing. All the ploughing's now been done. So we're coming up, up to the fields. I'm going to quickly show you up here on the right, on the left-hand side. Uh, today we're going to do some cultivating as well. Just get round it. It was very dark by the time I finished cultivate. Uh, by the time I finished um, ploughing, sorry. Just going to pull up here on the left-hand side. There you go. You can see ploughing states in now. So that's ready to be cultivated, and that'll be ready to be seeded. So right now, I think we'll head back to the um, back to the farm and uh, fill up the seed, ready for seeding. Right. 
Right, back at the farm now. Just going to back the cedar up and fill up the cedar so it's ready to, to go next time. Just back it in here. Just lower it down as well. And start to fill it up. So yeah, it was a late night last night. It was pitch black by the time I finished doing the um, the ploughing. That's filled up now. Yep, yeah, that's filled. I'll just close the cover. There you go, that's closed. So now I'm just going to take the cedar off, park it in the um, in one of the sheds, and we're going to go and hire a cultivator. I think we'll hire one because it's going to be a bit cheaper than buying one at the moment. Just shut these lights off. Switch these lights off as well. The lights are on as well. Where's the light switch? I think it's over here. Yeah, switch that off. Right. It's still really cold at the moment to, to do our seeding, I think. Let's have a quick... We'll just collect the... Tra the contract money as well so yeah it's still really cold to do any seeding at the moment I think maybe Thursday Thursday we might be able to do some seeding it's not too bad later today but yeah still dot drops in temperature it's all right well this is the uh, cultivator we're gonna hire the Unimat 660 it's only going to cost us 612 to hire or 12,000 to buy. So we'll just hire it for now because we're only going to use it on two fields. So it's going to be quite cheap to hire. So we'll lease that. Right, just going to back this up into the shed here. And then we'll pick up the cultivator, which I think we'll do a bit of a time lapse for that. Yep, so here we are up at the first field. I'm going to start cultivating now. See you later.
so as you can see we're up at the other arable field we're getting there slowly with a top speed of about eight miles an hour I quite like this Unimat 660 it's a 6.6 .6 meter cultivator and the animations on all the little linkages and the bits and bobs on it look really good uh, you need a uh, 150 horsepower to pull it so we've got 280 I think on this Massey so we've got plenty of horsepower to pull it with this with some of the planters you need you need to cultivate some of them are direct drill so you can plant them without having to cult cultivate excuse me without having to cultivate but I'm pretty sure with the Amazon cedar that we've got is that we'll need to cultivate so I've just cultivated anyway just to be on the safe side Yeah, I love the little animations on the little rollers at the back, and how they all how it all folds up when it lifts up. It's really nice, really nice animations. Uh, plan is to probably get some cows at some point. Uh, that might happen in the next episode, and then maybe it's all weather depending, really. Whether we we'll get some more, um, get some. Um, plant some seeds I quite like to get some soybeans in this field I think I spoke about that last last episode or the episode before um, it's quite a high yielding or profitable should I say a profitable crop you don't get um, you don't get straw with that hot with that crop but with wheat that you with wheat you do get straw so I think in the other field, the first field that we cultivated, I think we'll probably get something like wheat or barley in, so we can get some uh, straw for the for the cattle. Because hopefully next episode we'll have cattle. It all depends, really. We've got a bit of money now built up. So yeah, that looks that looks like that might be the way forward. And we've got wool as well. We're starting to get wool build building up. So there's another little bit of income coming in, steady income. It won't be a massive, won't be breaking any records selling that, but it's money coming in rather than spending money. And also we've got, you know, the grass fields are starting to grow whether we can get a first cut in um, in the next next few days so we'll need to buy things like a baler not a baler uh, a bale wrapper and probably a bale trailer at some point as well so we can move the bales we'll need some feed for the for the cattle in the winter months so we'll need to build up some um, some silage and maybe whether we make some total mix ration as well so lots and lots and lots of things to do it's just you know working out the best way to do it at the moment and we also got the access to the biogas plant as well so we can sell the silage to the biogas plant and in return I think we'll get digestate as well so we can use the digestate as a feed it's like a, it's almost like a slurry I guess but it's just like a byproduct from the processing of the silage at the biogas plant but I think I think we'll call it for today thank you so much for watching and hopefully next time we'll have some some, some more interesting things that we're doing on the farm but yeah thank you so much for watching until the next time we'll see you soon